Hey guys, we are here this month with a design team challenge for my design team, but also a collaboration with Shannon Green. So we have been doing a collaboration series with Shannon Green and her custom keepers, which are, which are, not our, <laughs> Um, Traveler's Notebook style notebook covers. Here's two that I have that I just got in that are empty. Um, they're made from repurposed billboard vinyl, double layer fused, really thick but still uh, pliable and flexible. They come just like this um, with the elastics threaded in it but untied so that you can easily take it out and then this is very... Uh, paintable, you can collage on top of it, you can do thin layers of resin on top of it. There is a lot of stuff you can do to these covers and it all sticks really well and holds up really well. Um, our first challenge with the team was to decorate the covers, which they all did a great job. Um, and this, she has different sizes by the way. I'm going to link her store in the description below. Um, she sent each one of the design team a small one custom uh, keeper and we decorated the covers in the last video. This is the one I did. Um, I really like the kind of graphic nature of the covers just as they are mostly in their natural state. So I just added something on top of it to sort of um, emphasize that or to go along with that. I didn't want to cover up. I liked this. So anyway, today we're going to do a layout in the um, custom keeper. Um, the d whole design team has done an, a great job with their layout um, this month, so I want you to go check their videos out, show them some love, like, share, and subscribe um, to not only my channel, but theirs also. And if you um, want notifications when new videos come out, don't forget to, when you subscribe to my channel or theirs or someone else's, to hit the little bell icon. Um, okay, so... They've done a great job this month. Go check out their videos, but watch mine first. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a layout here on this page. I'm going to speed forward through the process, and I'll be right back.
Okay, there's my page in my Custom Keeper. I actually really love this page. At one point, I wasn't exactly sure where it was going to go, but I love the way it turned out. Now, I will tell you, besides the paint chip, so the big piece that I used was this paint chip. I wasn't crazy about the background on this particular page. Um, this is um, like a junk journal type journal that um, somebody made for me that I put in here. So I started out by intending to cover it up, or mostly cover it up, and I started with the paint chip, and I also had this piece of paper back here that looked like kind of like this. So these were done, and then there's some more of these on top. These were done in an experiment a while back where I stamped onto paper with masking fluid with my rubber stamps from my line, and then let it dry, and then paint it over it, and then rub the masking fluid off. So that's how I got these, and I actually, you don't get a necessarily get a perfect impression, but I love the impression that you do get, it's really cool. So I used those, along with the paint chip, and then um, I added this piece back here that was on this thin paper, this again is done with the rubber stamps, and you lay it over the top of the stamp, and then you do like a graphite rubbing. Um, I did a graphite rubbing and I also did some, like I did the rub graphite rubbing and then put some colored marker. Uh, again, that's another experiment. So I ended up with a bunch of these which are really cool. I have these which again are my stamp line, stamped on cardstock and then fussy cut. So you can have those like out to use too. I ended up not using them. I also have these which are stamped directly onto the deli paper. You get a different look doing the rubbings than you do stamping. They're both interesting and they live in my bits box and when I get low on them I just uh, make some more. And then I use Seize the Moment which is from one of my word sets in my Etsy shop. And then I typed this, as I was putting this down I was inspired to go to my typewriter and type this and put that on there and do a little bit of doodling, not too much, and a little bit of blue paint pen. I love the way it turned out. Um, everybody on the design team has done a great job on their pages. I would love for you to go visit them and see what they've done, and um, think about different alternative ways that you can use your stamps. Um, I'm sorry, I'm reading my notes. Using your stamps in your work. Um, and if you're interested in any of my rubber stamps, um, there's 15 different sets. They're all available in my Etsy shop. I'll put the link in my link tree, which is in the description below. You click on the link tree and you're going to find every single place I am on the internet, including my Etsy shop. Um, all of the design team videos are linked below. Check them out. Show them some love. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, not only to my channel, but theirs. And if you want notifications of new videos, don't forget to hit that little bell icon. The most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.